Well, another topic that makes some people blush, breastfeeding. The August issue of American Baby unlocks some of the secrets to nursing. And joining us with more on this is American Baby's executive editor, Laura Kalehoff. Thanks for being with us, Laura. Thank you. All right, so what do we need to know when it comes to breastfeeding? Feeding? I mean, should, should a new mother be very specific and careful about what she eats? Well, that's one thing. People think I have to eat like a dietitian if I'm breastfeeding, yeah. but really your body is really equipped to make healthy milk for your baby. So you should pay some attention to eating and you should eat well. Um, it's all about moderation, but don't, you know, don't kick yourself for having that cookie. It's okay. Um, the most important thing you can do is continue to take your prenatal multivitamin because that's going to give you additional iron vitamin D and calcium more than a regular multivitamin would. So if it's okay to eat just about anything in moderation, what about introducing alcohol back into your system and, and caffeine for that matter? You can start introducing both. You can have a couple of cups of coffee a day, about two, no more than that. Um, and you can have about one drink a day as well. But keep in mind it's all in the timing. You want to drink right after you nurse so that because your body needs time to metabolize the alcohol. You need about two hours to get that alcohol out of your system and out of your breast. Milk, so. so if you pump too soon that can be passed on to the baby is that what you're saying it could be if you um, pumped right after drinking right. you don't want to do that you'd want to pump before you drink all right a mm -hmm. lot of women have said that you know breastfeeding is not the funnest thing on earth it can be very monotonous right right I mean on the one hand it's a wonderful bond bonding activity right. it helps you connect but on the other hand you're doing a lot of it and it takes about an it's sometimes up to an hour it's kind of, of feeding. A chore. I mean you really have to be on a routine don't yes, you? yes it's every couple hours so it's natural to want to check your phone check Facebook do a little reading watch some Netflix <laughs> yeah. right so and that's okay but um, what you want to do is avoid doing those activities at night during those nighttime feedings because you could confuse your baby he, he could get day and night confusion mm. um, at night you really want to keep things quiet and dark and really just nurse and put him back down. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. How painful is breastfeeding? Because I have heard horror stories. Yeah, well, it shouldn't be painful, but sometimes it is. And, you know, in the beginning, you can be a little bit irritated. If you're writhing in pain, it's probably a problem with the latch. So you want to call um, a lactation consultant. You want to get a referral from your doctor or the hospital and get that corrected. Don't wait weeks dealing with pain. You want to get that. Is that with. something women are hesitant to do, to, to call a consultant to help them with breastfeeding? Something, you know, many women say, look, I should know how to do this. Right. People think it should be something that they could do naturally, yeah. but just because it's natural doesn't mean it's easy. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. And uh, does it always work? Because there are some mothers that say, you know, I tried, it didn't work. I gave it up. Right, and that's okay. Don't give yourself a guilt trip if it doesn't work for you. You know, you'll have plenty of opportunities to feel mommy guilt later on in life, <laughs> really. So, so give yourself a break. Okay, Laura Kalehoff with American Baby. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. We appreciate your insight.